Hello and thanks for joining me. Today I'm going to make a tool post drill uh, for doing something like this. This is a drill guide I made. Uh, there's many different uses for it. I'm going to make it out of this right here. Uh, this is a boring bar holder for my AXA tool post. It's kind of oversized for my lathe and I never use it. And uh, I think it'll make a good drill guide. Uh, you'll see what I mean when I get started. Okay, first thing I want to do is cut a brass slug to go into this boring bar holder. Uh, this is three quarter inch and I gotta cut this to length. I've got everything set, I got a carriage stop here. Uh, I got a cut off tool support. I covered it in another video, but it works really well for this lathe. Uh, this post sits on the support. Drop it on there and go. I can even use auto feed. Okay, I've drilled and rimmed a 3 8 hole in this 3 quarter inch brass bar. And it's the same length as my tool holder. It just slips in the tool holder like that and you lock it down. Okay, here's how you use this thing. Drop that on there. What I got here is an old drill chuck. Came off of Montgomery Ward's Powercraft drill, but it's a Jacobs chuck. It's pretty good. It's got a 3 8 uh, threaded mount. I just took a piece of 3 8 cold roll, mounted it to it. And you just get a little lubrication here. Put it in the bushing on your tool post. And I usually, excuse my arm there, align it with the bed. You can look down on it and, and get it aligned. Get a perfect alignment there. Then, I just got a piece of scrap in here to demonstrate how this works. Uh, that's what I usually do. I got a center drill in here. And I just run that center drill up to the very edge. Then I use my dial to go in. Uh, say I want to go in a quarter inch. Just go in 250 thousandths. I'm in a quarter inch. And then, here's my indexing tool. It works. Don't laugh. Let me uh, take this out of... Took it, took it out of back gear. Anyway, yeah, don't laugh at my indexing. You can use anything. Steel bar would probably be better. I can make three holes perfect there. There you go, there's three perfectly spaced 
holes. Uh, of course, this is just a demonstration. You can drill them out, tap them, thread them, whatever you want to do. Uh, in the future, I plan on making a uh, indexing ring to fit on the outboard side of my spindle. Uh, I'll make another video when I do that. But I'd like to show you a, a few other things this will do too. Okay, here's something else you can do. Took a piece of inch and a half stock and ground it down to fit in my tool post. Threaded it with a 5 16 bolt there. Lock that into the tool post. Or uh, compound rather. Take the T nut off of there. Got my tool post on the end. Now you got to reverse this. Mount it on there. And it looks like I'm a little bit out of alignment here. Just eyeballing it for now. Yeah, it's not real solid, but it's solid enough to drill you some holes on the outside perimeter of that. Because of this height difference, you got to adjust it up higher. And if you want to get critical, you can run it into center and get your center height exactly right. Which I'm a little high there. Now I can do the same thing. Use that for my indexing. Hook up my drill. Drill some holes. There you go. Three perfectly spaced holes and three on the outside. Well, there you go. A poor man's version of an indexing head. Uh, I found it to be pretty useful. Hopefully you will too. Watch for future videos and I'm going to make an indexing wheel for the outboard side of my lathe. That'll expand the possibilities here quite a bit. Uh, thanks for joining me.